Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to take a look at a really interesting paper which takes a look at the question of over a long time period, which matters more, improvements in hardware or algorithmic improvements? Now this paper was published back in August 2020, so it's pretty recent and it looks at one very specific problem and that is SAT solving. Before we go any further, what is SAT solving? So SAT, which is the short name for the Boolean satisfiability problem, is an NP complete problem. The problem is to find an assignment of values for Boolean variables in a Boolean formula that would make that whole formula evaluate to true. So for example, A and B is satisfiable if A is true and B is true. A and not A is not satisfiable for any value of A. And like I said, this is an NP-complete problem, which means solving SAT would in turn allow you to solve all the other NP-hard problems as well. Now, even though SAT is an NP-complete problem and has no polynomial time solution in general, it has received a lot of attention from computer science researchers over the years, and they have come up with a lot of heuristic algorithms, which nevertheless can solve this problem for large numbers of variables, even up to tens of thousands of variables. And SAT has become an important problem because a lot of other problems in other domains like automatic theorem proving or circuit design can be reduced to SAT. And so those are solved by turning those problems into the SAT problem and then solving the SAT problem. So the long history of studying the SAT problems and improving the algorithm for solving SAT along with more practical considerations like it having a standardized format in which to specify instance problems makes SAT a good candidate for trying to answer this question. And the question is, over a very long period of time, in this case over a period of 20 years, what has mattered more to solving problems faster? Is it advances in hardware? in terms of faster clock speeds, better architectures, and so on, or algorithmic improvements. And the way the authors try to answer this question is really interesting. They do it by setting up a competition between two teams, so to speak. There's team hardware and team software. Team software uses the latest SAT solvers, that means SAT solvers which incorporate all the algorithmic improvements up until now, 2020, and runs them on old hardware, hardware from 20 years ago. Team Hardware, on the other hand, uses SAT solvers from back in 2000, but runs them on the latest hardware. And here's the setup in a little bit more detail. Team Hardware, which is old solvers on the latest hardware, has three SAT solvers from 1996 and the early 2000s running on a computer from 2019. So it's an Intel Xeon running at 2.6 gigahertz and 128 gigs of RAM. On the other hand, you have Team Software, which consists of the latest solvers on old hardware. So these solvers are from 2019 and the oldest one is from 2016 and they are running on a computer from 1999, which has a Pentium 3 processor running at a now paltry sounding 467 megahertz and containing only 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Now, before we go and look at the results, I wanna highlight one very important aspect of setting up this experiment, and that is code archeology. span in order to run these 20 year old SAT solvers, they first had to get those solvers. They had to get the source code for the solvers and they had to build them and run them. As they detail over here, in many instances, they had to go through quite a few hoops and a lot of investigation to even find the sources and build binaries out of them. It was a big, 
logistical challenge to reconstruct all the dependencies that old solvers needed when they were built back in 2000. So that's an interesting aside on the longevity of code and trying to set it up so that it has the minimum set of dependencies and can be used far into the future and also just for reproducibility of scientific results in general. All right, so here are the results. The most unsurprising one is that a new solver, MapleSat from 2019, gets the best result on the latest hardware. That's not surprising at all. It was able to solve 195 instances. And these three results on the top are the results of running new solvers on old hardware. So that's team software. And this VBEST line over here is kind of the virtual best, which takes the union of all the successfully solved instances across all the solvers in that team. So the virtual best for running new solvers on old hardware was 124. And that was also the virtual best for running old solvers on new hardware. As I mentioned, the virtual best solver is the one that takes the union over the solved instances of all the solvers in that team. So what's the takeaway? As you can see from the results, there's minor differences in the performance of team hardware and team software. But if you look at the virtual best, they are a neck and neck tie. Team hardware performs as well as team software. This means that over a long period of time, Yes, Moore's law buys you a lot of performance, but also algorithmic improvements play a very large role in improved performance on these kinds of hard problems. So it's not always just better, faster hardware that buys you more breathing room. Algorithmic improvements are also equally important. So that was a quick look at a paper that tries to answer the question of what matters more in terms of performance on hard problems over a very long period of time. Is it hardware improvements or algorithmic improvements? And what they found was for the SAT problem, which is an NP-complete problem, both of those factors play an equally important role. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.